Magandang araw mga kasutnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocnix YouTube Channel! In this video, we will define basic concepts of probability. Probability is the mathematics of concerning numerical descriptions of how likely an event is to occur or how likely it is that a proposition is true. Probability also means possibility. There are several terms we need to define involving probability. The first one is what we call an experiment. It is any procedure that can be infinitely repeated and has a well-defined set of possible outcomes. Outcomes is defined as the possible results of an experiment. Sample space is the set of all possible outcomes in an experiment. And Event is the subset of all possible outcomes in an experiment. Let us clearly differentiate experiment from sample space and event. If you are going to toss a coin, that is classified as an experiment. Now the results when you toss a coin, which are head or tail, is what we call the sample space. Now, if we are going to define an event, let's say, for example, the event that a head will occur, head is what you call an event. Let's have another one. If you are going to roll a die, what are the possible sample space? The sample space are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, if we are going to be specific in an event, let's say, for example, the event that an event will occur, the possible results are 2, 4, and 6. Let's try this example. If you are going to pick a card from a deck of cards, that is an example of an experiment. Now, all the possible results or outcomes in picking a card from a deck of cards is what we call the sample space. So, here are the sample space, or here is the sample space if you are going to pick a card from a deck of cards. That's ace to king. Using the four shades, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamond. Now, if we are going to be specific and we will determine the event that an, that an ace will be picked, the possible outcomes are ace of diamond, ace of spade, ace of clubs, and ace of hearts. <laughs> Let us now identify the sample space for each experiment. If we are going to toss two coins at the same time, what are the, what are the possible outcomes? The sample space that I mean in tossing two coins are head-head, head-tail, tail-head, and tail-tail. What is the sample space in choosing a color from the rainbow? So the sample space are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These colors are the seven colors of our rainbow. What is the sample space if you are going to roll a pair of die. These are all the possible combinations if you are going to roll two dice. 
So we have 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, up to 6, 6. All in all, we have 36 possible outcomes. Let us now discuss the different relationships of events. We have what we call union of events. Given events A and B, the union of the two events A and B is the event A union B, read as A union B. It is a set of outcomes of A and or B. We may illustrate the union of events using this Venn diagram. The shaded parts of A and B are the union of events A and event B. So let's say for example that event A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 while event B has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 the union of A and B are the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let's have another example. Given that event M has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, while event N has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, the union between event M and event N are the elements 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. We also have intersection of events. Given events A and B, the intersection of the two events A and B is the event A intersection B. It is a set of outcomes of A and B. This is the illustration of intersection between event A and event B. The shaded part is the, is the intersection of the two events. Suppose that event A has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and event B has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, the intersection between event A and event B are the elements 3, 4, and 5 because 3, 4, and 5 are the common elements between A and B. Let's take a look on this example. If event M has the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, and event N has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, the intersection between M and N are the elements 3, 5, and 7. We also have what we call complement of an event. This is the set of outcomes in the sample space that is not in an event. We denote the complement of an event by event A by A apostrophe read as A complement. This Venn diagram is the illustration of the complement of event A. The complement of event A is the shaded region outside event A. Suppose that the sample space has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, while event A has the elements 4, 5, 6, and 7. The complement of A are the elements 1, 2, and 3, because these elements are not found on A but found on the sample space. Let's have another example. Suppose that the sample space is given 
by the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And event n has the elements 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. The complement of event n are the elements 1, 2, 8, 9, and 10. Simply because these elements are not found in the event n but found in our sample space. Let us now discuss mutually exclusive events. Two events are mutually exclusive or disjoint if they cannot both occur at the same time. The figure at the left is the illustration of mutually exclusive events. Event A is mutually exclusive with event B because the event A has nothing to do with event B, while the figure at the right are not mutually exclusive because event A and event B have their intersection. The intersection of two mutually exclusive events is a null set, meaning there, are, there is no intersection between mutually exclusive events. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. Probability is the mathematics of concerning numerical descriptions of how likely an event is to occur or how likely it is that a proposition is true. It is also known as possibility. An experiment is any procedure that can be infinitely repeated and has a well-defined set of possible outcomes, while outcomes are the possible results of an experiment. An event is the subset of all possible outcomes in an experiment, while the sample space is the set of all possible outcomes. Let us now check your knowledge. Do not forget to pause the video while you are trying to answer this activity. Let us now discuss your work. A intersection B is 3. The union of event B and event D are the elements 2, 3, 4, 7, and 9. The complement of C are the elements 2, 3, 5, and 9. In our last number, it is the intersection of event D and the union of event A and B. So let us now, let us first identify the union of event A and event B. The union of event A and event B are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 9, while event D has the elements 3, 7, 8, and 9. The intersection be between these sets of elements are 3, 7, 8, and 9. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math.